are you ready to go to buys? Do you want to go to the buys? Huh? Do you want to go to buys? You're not going to want to go once you know where you're going because you're going back to the vets today. Good morning. So it is Monday morning and yes, I'm off to take puppy to the vets. See what she has to say. I'm curious. I'm just curious as to what she has to say. I'm really curious as to what his blood work comes back like. So, other than that, not a lot happening today. He still has a bit of diarrhea, so I don't want to um, let him home alone. And um, so I'm just coming back home today. I did manage to get my bed stripped this morning and my sheets are washed and in the dryer as we speak. Other than that, I'm probably just going to clean up the bathroom a little bit. Not that it's hogged up, but you know how bathrooms get. Or, um, sorry, with the camera was all over the place there. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm going to try that new pasta sauce for dinner tonight. So I have some Italian chicken sausage out thawing. And I picked up some whole grain pasta yesterday. I didn't run to Walmart yesterday. I didn't do a haul because I only ran for a few items after we got back from Costco, just for stuff I couldn't buy at Costco that I needed. Um, so again, I didn't do, a haul, didn't do a haul because it was only a few items. So Mike stayed home with the pup and I ran there. Um, yeah, I can not wait till I can get back to my normal schedule and get my shopping done through the week because these stores are just too crazy on the weekend. I feel bad for all of you that, I'm sorry, this camera is bouncing like crazy because of these roads. Um, I feel bad for all of you that have to do your shopping on the weekends. I can't deal with these stores. Oh my gosh, I am so blessed and lucky to be able to go to the stores in the morning during the week when all the children are in school I'm telling you, I don't blame the kids, but I blame these parents. There was this family in the store, and it was like every aisle I went in, they would follow me, and I didn't go in every aisle. But they had two grade school age kids that literally were running and screaming like they were on a playground. And this store is crowded. I just, I just don't understand. And the parents didn't even... It's not even like they yelled at them or even said anything to them. They just walked around and did their own thing while these kids were like playing tag and picking up stuff. I, I, and that was just one example. I just, oh, man, I'm spoiled. I'm really spoiled. So anyway, I have to switch arms here because, well, yeah, my arm gets tired. So, and I feel bad talking to you with sunglasses on. I think that is so rude when somebody's talking to you with sunglasses on, but I need to see to drive. So anyway, me and Pup, there he is. Hopefully the camera's on him. Off to the vets. Oh, and I have his heated seat on. When I got up this morning to take him outside, it was 23 degrees out. We're up to a whole 29 now, and it's only going up to 38. And guess what I had to do this morning when we first got up? Now granted, we were up in the middle of the night, but the vet told me to do it first thing in the morning. When he got up and went outside to pee, I had to catch it. I had to catch the pee. So, that little blue container right there, that's dog pee that has been in my refrigerator since first thing this morning. Thank God I have a male dog who lifts his leg because I honestly don't know how you would do that with a female dog. I don't. All right, off to the vets. See you soon. Well, here we are at the vets. Keeps wanting me to pick him up. Um, waiting for the vet to come in. The technician took him back and weighed him down to 16.2. So he's lost another 0.7 since last week. So hopefully that's not a bad sign. Hi. Hey there. So I am back from the vet. So I thought I'd give you a report on the little fuzzy boy. He's in on the chair, just sound asleep right now. He's exhausted. Um, so... I had to, like I said, they did a urine test and it was good and bad with his urine. The good part is there are no proteins, so that's a good thing. The bad part is his urine is not concentrating, but that could be 
Some of that could be because of the LASIK. Sorry, I'm trying to think about this and talk to you at the same time. Um, I'm getting ready to clean my Keurig here. And um, I wonder if I can do this without the filter in just because I'm cleaning it. I'm sorry. So as far as the blood work goes, they're going to send it out this time. They normally do all his blood work in-house, um, but if they send it out, they can get a lot more readings than what they're capable of getting in the actual office. So I will not find out any results of the blood work until tomorrow night. But she said she's not hearing any fluid in his abdomen or his lungs, which is very good because he was so filled with fluid, remember, until they started the LASIK, which is what gave us the diagnosis of the heart disease. Um, <clears throat> his energy level is back. He still has diarrhea, but she did give him a new med to help combat that. So he's on a medicine for five days for the, di for the diarrhea. And then um, he's still going to do the LASIK, but not as much. And um, <clears throat> no more famotidine. We're going to discontinue that as well as the Alonopril for a while. And the Vet Medin, which is another heart med, um, she's going to wait till she gets these results back to decide what we're going to do with the Vet Medin. So, <clears throat> excuse me. All in all, I can say I'm pretty pleased with how the appointment went. Um, like I said, he looks good. Um, yeah, I really can't say anything else until I get this blood work back. You know, the blood work was how we found out how bad the kidneys were to begin with, with those numbers being so high for his BUN reading and his creatinine reading. So hopefully they have come back down. And um, I will be sure to let you guys know as soon as I hear something. So I'm, like I said, back home. I ate a quick lunch, just had some pasta. I've been craving pasta. I'm gonna have it again tonight. I just, I'm craving pasta. Um, but I got my sheets back on my bed. They are all clean. The bed is made. Now, like I said, I'm cleaning the Keurig. I'm going to replace the filter in that. And, um, still have to wipe down the bathrooms and I'm going to start a little dark wash. So, yeah, it's not real exciting around here today. Sorry, I have nothing fun and exciting to show you, but my day is what my day is. Um. But that's I'm, I'm okay with it uh, I'm I'm finally I'm finally done I think mourning the loss of my job uh, <clears throat> if you watch several videos ago I was still trying to deal with the fact that I was no longer working and how much I missed the people I worked with and how much I missed my job I think I finally moved past that it was like I had to grieve for about a year to to get through that is that normal I don't know there's a reason why I'm home and this dog I'm sure is one of the reasons why I'm home because I, I haven't been able to leave him alone um so yeah I'm a happy camper again for now <laughs> I still am not excited about you know our living conditions as far as being here in in Pennsylvania but that will happen that will happen when it's time I will be out of PA and I will be in Florida where I'm going to be I know it I just have to wait have a little patience all right I'm going to finish cleaning my Keurig here and I'll be back well there's going to be a change in plans I fell asleep <laughs> Mike just texted me that he's on his way home and that's what woke me up so yeah, there's not going to be any pasta and sausage and all that kind of stuff for dinner tonight. Because I also wanted to run to the store um, to get a pepper and stuff. Since I have no meal plan for this week and I was waiting and I figured I'd have to run for a couple things I might need. Oh my god, I told you I've been tired. Like I have not been sleeping because of the dog. Well, I sat down around 2 o'clock and thought, I'm just going to watch a couple YouTube videos. And, re and relax a little bit and then I'll get up and get stuff ready. I want to sit down for probably an hour almost, not even. 
Well, I completely fell asleep. So, I'm still trying to wake up. <laughs> Apparently my body needed it. So, I think we're gonna have that rotisserie chicken now that I bought yesterday and pulled apart, but we never ate it. So I think you might have that with some salads. I don't know, I gotta figure this out. Maybe I'll just wait till Mike gets home and ask him what he wants, cause I'm still not thinking clear. My body is tired. All right, you remember how I said we were winging it? We are winging it. So I've come up with something I'm gonna create with the rotisserie chicken. So I got my walk out. Um, all you're seeing in there is I wiped it out with a wet rag. Good, so it's just moisture from wiping it out. And I'm going to turn that on to medium-high heat. And I'm going to add a little bit of avocado oil. Just to coat the pan. And then what I've done is I've sliced up some carrots and some broccoli. Now I'm going to go ahead and saute those together until they are tender. All right, I'm going to let them go until they start to soften and I'll be back. Okay, after about five minutes I did add about a quarter cup of water to this just so I could create some steam to help steam those vegetables along a little faster. The florets are starting to get soft. The carrots that are sliced super thin are getting soft. Um, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to add my chicken. Well, this is about two-thirds of that rotisserie chicken from yesterday. I still have quite a bit of it in the refrigerator yet. little bit of garlic and maybe just under a tablespoon all right I'm just gonna let that con to continue to hang out and keep cooking until my chicken is heated completely through and on the back okay everything is now good and hot so I'm going to add some pepper. I'm not going to put any salt in here just because I am using soy sauce. And even though I'm using a low sodium soy sauce, soy still tends to be, you know, pretty salty. So I'm going to wait and taste it after I have um, soy sauce in. Hold on. My bag in my microwave fell over. Let me move this. I'm making these, the riced cauliflower and sweet potatoes for Mike to eat this over top of. And it's supposed to stand upright in a microwave and it just fell over. So I'm putting it back upright. So we're going to watch him eat that for the first time because I am guessing he's going to mind the texture of that stuff, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to add some slivered almonds to this just for a little bit of crunchy texture. I know in a lot of Asian cooking, they tend to use cashews. And what the heck, we use them all. I don't have any cashews. Well, I do, but they're chocolate covered. That won't work in here. Again, I told you, I'm cleaning out the, I'm cleaning out the cupboards. And this broccoli was in there for a little bit and it was already cut, so I thought, you know what? We're going to be creative tonight. Okay, I'm going to add some soy. And I'm going to sprinkle this with some sesame seeds.
and then just a drop or two of sesame oil. Now I do have some sriracha that we can eat on it if we want a little bit of heat. I'm thinking with Mike eating his with the um, sweet potato and cauliflower, he's probably not going to want sriracha on that, but that could be wrong. All right, we're just going to let this hang out and stay warm until his side dish is done, and then I will um, let you watch him taste it for the first time. In the meantime, I'm going to give this a taste. Mmm. 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 That's good. I'll eat it. Okay. We'll be back. Okay. Here it goes. Now hold on. Don't try that yet. Again, this is what he's trying. So we're going to get his reaction. Well, don't cheat and eat the chicken. Now it's not supposed to taste like rice. It's just supposed to be a substitution for rice. It looks nasty. And it has nothing on it. It's just naked. So you can spice it up with salt and pepper and stuff like that. But here it goes. <laughs> Probably want to just throw that away and eat the bag. <laughs> really? Is it that bad? Does it have any flavor? It's not that bad. Well, mix it with your chicken and broccoli and all that kind of stuff. Well, I didn't want to do that to my... I know, I know, but now that you've tasted it, you know, you can mix it. So... It's sweet potatoes and cauliflower. Yeah, it's okay. That's what it is? Yeah, it's sweet potatoes and cauliflower. That's all it is. No sauce or seasoning. 70% fewer calories than rice. Yeah, it's not bad for being what it is. No seasoning. And again, I can always take it and make it and spice it up. And you can get it with all different kinds of stuff, not just sweet potatoes. All right, so I guess we'll maybe try it again, but I won't, like, make it again tomorrow. You know, I'll have to give him a break. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys, I forgot to tell you about my new toy. My new toy. So have you guys heard yet of Google Chromecast? Um, I first saw it advertised on, um, uh, like the beginning of the YouTube videos that some people would monetize with ads and that's where I'd see this Google Chromecast ad. So what it does, if you're not familiar with it, is it plugs into your TV, it's this little, little round disc thing and it plugs into an HDMI outlet on your television. And this is primarily if you don't have a smart TV. If you have a smart TV and you can pull up the internet and watch whatever you want to, you probably don't need this. But we have an older plasma. <coughs> when I say older, it's old. But it still works fabulous, so I'm not getting a new television. Um, but it's not a smart TV. So for $35, you buy this little device from Google. And again, one end plugs into your HDMI outlet on your TV, and the other end just goes into, it's in our power strip. It just needs electric voltage. And you have to have Wi-Fi. And from any device that you have in your home that has Bluetooth, whether it's your smartphone or like, um, I have it on my smartphone and I'm using it on my tablet, 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 um, you can just cast anything onto your television. So for example, I want to pull up YouTube. So now I am watching all my YouTube channels, all my videos on the big screen. So here, I'm going to turn this around so you're not looking at me. So I have my TV on HDMI 2, which is, I have it plugged into the number 2 HDMI port. That's just some random picture that they show. So like right here, I have my subscription page pulled up on my tablet. So it looks like the newest video that was just uploaded three minutes ago was Shelly's home life with her weekly meal plan and grocery haul. So you click on that and you open your video. And it's just going to start. Luke's pack wants Jace dead. I am the predator. 
hold on to this edge over. Okay, so it's just going to start playing on here. But if you see this little icon right here, oh my gosh, I can't touch it. I can't touch it and hold the camera at the same time. You touch that little button. It only takes this long the first time. So bam, there you go. And there's Shelly of Shelly's Home Life. So what this does is all of y'all that I subscribe to and watch your videos, you're all famous now because you're on the 42 inch flat screen TV. So if you haven't gotten Google Chromecast yet, oh, again, $35 one time price, no subscriptions, no nothing. And you can watch all your videos on your TV. So that's where I'm going to end this video because I'm going to watch YouTube for the rest of the night with this little guy. And I'll see you soon. Good night.